Hey, what's up, people? Patty and I are on our way to our second brewery. If you see behind us, we're going to Edmonds Oast. We're in, I guess it's supposed to be downtown Charleston. I don't really know where in the world we're at because it it's took us forever. <laughs> well, we kept going in circles and our GPS was just driving us insane to get here. So anyway, we're on our way inside. And we're gonna check out the beer and we'll tell you how things are. Okay, so we're at Edmunds Oast and we are drinking our flight of beer. And um, I have a confession to make. The confession that I have is that probably a couple years ago when I was introduced to Edmunds Oast beers, um, especially the ales, I honestly did not really like them that well because the ales to me seemed extremely hoppy and I felt like they should have been categorized as IPAs. But really and truly over the last few months um, at some of the places that we frequent, um, there's been some beers that have tasted amazing and have changed my opinion about Edmunds Oast. And one of them, we have two of them here in the flight that we got. We only got one flight mainly because the fact that there's so many breweries, well, I'm not going to get personal, <laughs> but you know, I may not be able to find our way back to the hotel. But I have one here, it's called, um, it's cereal for dinner. And I think that is an amazing tasting beer. I just, I just love it. And the other beer that- well, hold um, on, when you, well, Why do you love that beer? It just tastes, it tastes like cereal. I well, swear to God, it, it, it tastes like you're drink, you're eating cereal, but you're drinking it. And it, but it, they said it has vanilla and cream in it and uh, some coconut. Well, like I said, I didn't pay much attention to it, but I, I know that we probably have mentioned the the two beers in particular that we're gonna that we're gonna be talking about. I'm almost positive we probably talked about them at um, another place uh, on a video that we did. But yeah, the cereal for dinner is really really good. The other one reminds me of my grandma. Oh, <laughs> grandma K. Lemon meringue. <laughs> Lemon Lemon meringue. <laughs> so so good i love lemon meringue pie she would make lemon meringue pies for me anytime i came home so um god it tastes that tastes really really good it's real refreshing too so it's, it's a nice beer to drink on a hot day here in charleston so what about the cereal for dinner do you like it yeah i do it has a nice a flavor to it with the vanilla cream um the other one we got was buckets of flowers and to me, it tastes it like a regular beer with a little hop to it. I it's a it's a little hoppy. It's got a little tartness to it, but it's got um it's got a light orangey kind of taste. But it's that hoppiness that kind of comes through in it. I think it's a wit beer, um, but it's yeah, it's called Bucket of Flowers. So. Uh, and then the uh, other one we got was the sour. It's called Sour Sherbet. And it's like getting the rainbow sherbet at the um, grocery store with a little tartness to it. Yeah, it has it has all the flavors in there that you would typically get in a uh, rainbow sherbet. Um, so it was good. I tell you, this place is very impressive, but it was real hard to get to it. The um, Google does not give you good directions to get uh, here. But it's we are a, going in circles, literally in circles. Yeah, he was going crazy, literally. Um, but we finally got in here, and it's kind of like in a, I don't know, what would you say, a big warehouse no, we'll, type place? I, I tell you what, let's, um, we're going to finish up these beers, and we'll, um, we'll do some more video to show you, because it is really huge outside here. And then they have a restaurant and all inside, so you can sit outside or inside. We just chose to sit out here. And I want, uh, it's very dog friendly, and there uh, are a bunch of awesome <laughs> looking dogs here today. Um, one thing I'm, I'm gonna do a little gripe here. I was disappointed in how our flight came out. It came out like on a tray. You get it at school um, when you're getting your lunch at school, and they're little dinky plastic glasses. And I hate drinking beer out of a plastic glass. Well, I would. I, I I will guess this. Um, we don't know this for sure, but I am almost betting that um, they're still wearing masks and stuff like that. So I'm guessing a lot of this is due to COVID protocols 
Um, they, they do have COVID protocol things posted up. So I'm guessing that more than likely that's that's what it's due to rather than the glass and the, the regular uh, flight holder and, and stuff like that. But uh, but anyway, yeah. But but beer is good. Um, this yeah, place is pretty cool. It's just a neat, neat place where we're at. A, a pretty interesting um, food menu too. They got um, boiled peanuts as an appetizer. So if you're one of the favorites of boiled peanuts, you'd probably enjoy that. Um, they have a bunch of different burgers and pizza and um, some salads and all. So it looks like the people that are ordering food are really enjoying it. So um, we're gonna do um, a video so I can show uh, I can show you what it looks like on the outside, and we'll do one on the inside. And just be patient. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm inside, and uh, this is really a cool place. I mean, I, this is a lot nicer than what I really thought. Um, here, here we go. I'm gonna do a little bit. So you got the boards up there. You got this big, huge bar here. And then everywhere around me is nothing but eating places. Um, the kitchen's over there. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, this is pretty cool the way the way this uh, works out. And then straight back in the back, you can see where they actually brew the beer. So uh, we're gonna go back outside. All right, we are wrapping our uh, stay here at uh, Edmonds Oast, and we're heading to another brewery. We got to get some food somewhere along the way. And if you can see in the background here, um, actually I'm going to turn around and just flip the flip the camera around. But that is uh, that is the outside of Edmonds Oast. Um, I guess again due to uh, COVID protocol and so forth, um, they're serving outside. Got plenty, plenty, plenty of room here. This is a huge, huge area. So um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So until next time, uh, back to me. Here we go. Patty, say goodbye. Okay, we're going to say goodbye now, but um, we've always wanted to come here, and we're glad we got to stop in and check the place out. Um, their you, cans are everywhere in the upstate. So. Yeah, and if you get and if you get a chance, you know, cereal for dinner? Oh, but I like and, cereal for breakfast, well, personally. Well, hey, and then get the lemon meringue for oh, dessert. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God, what a combination. All right, we're wrapping up. Until next time. Five o'clock somewhere. Dilly dilly.